As scientists and chemists, we need to keep track of the number of significant digits that we carry out through a mathematical calculation. When doing so, we need to first identify in each of the original values how many significant figures there are. In our first value, 249.362, all of those values are significant. So we're going to keep all of them for a total of six. In 41, you only have two significant digits. And in 63.489, you, you have five significant digits. Now that we know that, we need to understand the order of operations for mathematical equations and mathematical uh, calculations. The P stands for parentheses, E for exponents, M for multiplication, D for division, and A and S for addition and subtraction. Now, when we go into our mathematical equation, we follow those order of operations by keeping track of all of our significant digits. So in 249.362, we have six significant digits. And we're going to add that to 41 first because it's contained within parentheses. And when we perform that calculation, you get a value of 290 point three six two now we need to figure out how many of these new figures are actually significant and the rule for addition and subtraction which we just did is that you keep the least number of decimal places so in our two values that we added together the one with the lowest number of decimal places is 41 which is in the ones place so I'm gonna go to my new value that I just calculated and put a underline underneath because that lets me know that even though I'm going to keep all of these values and not round until the very end, the last significant digit here is going to be in this ones place. Because it came from the ones place, which was our least uh, value of decimal places. Whereas in point three six two, we can't keep those because they don't exist in the other value that we're adding them together. Now, I can bring down the rest of my function, which is dividing by 63... 0.489. And now that I have those new values and I still have my underline, now when I perform my calculation, I know that I can keep track of which numbers are significant and which are not because I've underlined it. So in this case, in our division, we're, we're dividing a number that contains only three significant digits because you have one, two, and then this is the last significant digit. And that's three because it's the third value. Four point five seven two seven seven three, etc., etc., in your calculator, I know that I can underline the third significant digit because I only had, in reality, a number with three significant digits divided by a number with five significant digits. And the rule for multiplication and division differs from addition and subtraction. With multiplication and division, which is what we're performing now, you keep the least number of significant digits overall. And this ends up being 3 from our numerator in this division. So now, when I report my final value containing the total number of significant digits, I can round to this value. And because 2 is less than 5, I'm going to round down for a final overall answer of 4.57.